Good morning, this is Vaughan at Westcott Bell Pottery. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick glaze unpacking, uh, just to show you a few new colours that I've been doing with the Randy's Red. And that is my blue and oatmeal over the top with just a hint of crystal magic. That strontium crystal magic on the ball as well, which is where you get the runs. This one is basically my mouse brown from Mastering Cone 6 Glazes, which is a grayish color. And then it has my oatmeal and my yellow oatmeal over the piece as well. I have two oatmeals. One has yellow stain in it, um, as well as the actual titanium and titan tin, basically. There's the gray on the back. And this is recycled clay. Same mouse gray. Look at the runs on that one. I was lucky that nearly stuck to the kill shelf. Run all the way down and I have that groove on the bottom that just sort of stopped it. You saw me making these in the video the other day. This is that, some people call it floating blue, I think, and I, I just call it bright blue. And that's got oatmeal over it. And I have a dark blue as well, where I did a swipe of dark blue over these as well. more little tea balls and the strontium crystal magic is what gives it the run over the outside that those are with and there's two more here those are with the uh, randy's red and on the inside it did go red but on the outside it's still going brown but then the other glazes over it are actually enhancing it and making it quite nice anyway. I did a test for cones in this electric firing. So cone six went all the way over, um, but it isn't melted. It's just all the way over. This for that set. I did a little set of these <coughs> uh, dishes all in the same color, so there's like three different sizes of these baking dishes. And I also did a set of pasta bowls, so they're very uh, like a wide bowl. I have four of these as a set. So oatmeal always does a really nice kind of uh, crystal thing over the top of whatever glaze you put it on. My cat wants to go upstairs, he's meowing. So this is another set of pasta bowls. Oop. My cat is, is <laughs> he loves going upstairs, um, but my wife is a painter and she has her paintings laying all over the place. Um, especially when she does print making, because she might have 60, different prints and um, so she doesn't like my cat to go upstairs when she's got them laying around and of course he wants to go up even more then um, there you go these really did work nicely so uh, it's a satin white glaze um, and it makes a nice oatmeal if you put um, uh, uh, what do you call it uh, um, oh, I forgot the name of it the little speckle ilmenite um, and throw some of that in there and some yellow ochre or just a little bit of iron oxide will give it a creamy color and then for the other oatmeal I add some yellow stain um, which is basically uh, uh, a bright I think it's called sunshine yellow from mason stains but the outside look at this I mean it's just gorgeous lucky though it ran down quite a bit um, there you go. This was just a regular green that I dropped into the glaze bucket. It was supposed to be different colors, but when I was glazing it, I have a little groove on the back so I can stick my fingernails underneath and that helps you glaze things upside down, but it still slipped out of my fingers and went all the way in. This is what it was supposed to look like because it was white on the inside and all that. So. 
So the key there is not to drop it, I guess. Uh, I like to make little sets so you can stack them in the gallery. So I got several the same color, basically. This is that recycled clay. It's kind of a nice toasty brown, but it's got everything in it. Advance the shells, very light. Now these pieces, I just showed you one of these, there's another one of them here. I slip trail glaze across the piece after I've glazed the basic three colors on this one, which is my white oatmeal, my yellow oatmeal, and uh, also over the mouse brown, which is a gray. If I cool the kiln slowly, that will go completely matte, that mouse gray. These ones I let it cool naturally. Um, but then I slip trail lines of uh, raspberry glaze, and there's a green I always use as well, which just gives a little variation on the inside. I don't like the raspberry um, on, on things that are completely. Um, raspberry, it's just too much. It's very plastic feeling looking. But as a little highlight, it's a really nice glaze to use for highlights. Sea foam, that recipe's online, with my oatmeal over the top and my yellow oatmeal, which over the sea foam sort of makes a light green. So, um, there you go. And that's recycled clay again. So that I, when I do recycle clay, it usually takes me about two weeks to get through the batch. And um, Randy's red. And then I have my oatmeal over the top. I don't remember what I put over that. I probably did the bright blue over the Randy's red, the floating blue, and all that. Another one of those. That yellow is my yellow oatmeal over the gray. It always goes that sand color, which I really like. And that's my base white glaze, you know, so if that's the oatmeal. If I just add some ilmenite, and some uh, iron ochre to it, it'll go that sort of oatmeal color. It's what they call a satin white, so it's got a slight sheen to it. Always wiggle the shells when you lift them out because I've had kiln props stick on the bottom. And now I think it's just those pasta bowls. There's sets of these, so I like to make things in sets of four whenever I do things, because occasionally somebody will buy all four. There's another one. I think I took the other one out already, but um, a little dish there, just a small dish using my blue green copper red glaze with some oatmeal, oatmeal over the top. At the rim. Wiggle the shell. There you go. Pots don't stick to the shells, but my kiln props always leave a little bit of the prop left. And I use a chisel to knock that off. It just comes right off. Some more of the blue bowls. Blue is the most popular color, and you can see the slip trailing lines that I did on this piece. And the recycled clay, this is the limit. It can't go above cone six. Otherwise it will bloat, and there's a tiny bit of bloating on that one. Here's the other pasta bowl. And the last two pieces, it's another Randy's Red with the floating blue and oatmeal over it. And another blue bowl. Okie dokie. It was a quick video, only 10 minutes. So uh, I might be overloading you guys. But anyway, uh, if any questions, just uh, post them in the comments and hit subscribe and like, whatever that means, I don't know. But I hear other people telling people to do that. So um, enjoy the winter. It's uh, raining today. Where's the snow? Right, bye.